guys today I am in Mulberry Villa once again and I just wanted to give a quick update of how my inn slash tavern is coming along and I have been working very hard on it and this is what I've got done so far this is the back part of it it is not done the stone or stone wall that you're seeing up around the edge is temporary that is just a way of me to stand on there to put the roof up so that will come be coming down when the, uh, the roof is on all the way up so and again it's the same thing with this ladder but I want to come out this way this build has been pretty challenging for me um, in one moment I think oh it's going great it's been so easy and the next minute it's horrible I want to trash it all I want to just quit <laughs> but obviously I haven't um you can see I still not I wow I forgot to put down uh, blocks right there supposed to be wood continuing down so anyway um yes this is the side view of it um it took me a little bit of time to figure out what i wanted to do with it uh first i was just going to have all of the um this is adobe block wall i believe uh let me see here yeah adobe wall and i was just going to have that plain but it was too plain so then I decided to continue the wood look all the way up and actually like it. Once this stone comes back down, when it come, when I'm all done and I'll take this down, you'll be able to see better uh, of what it looks like. Plus, there'll be windows throughout the uh, floor, the top floor here, which is the in part. Um, so I kind of struggled a little bit with the the roofing um, but I finally I think I may have got it I'm I'm not entirely sure but this is the front entryway the stairs will lead up into the inn and then I did go ahead and put a door into the tavern down below so let's come all the way out here you can see better there is the front that you see I, obviously I have a lot of roof to put on and um, I will be continuing the wood stripe, I, I call them stripes, but you know, the wood grain, whatever, um, to break up that solid color, you know, solid wall there. Gives it a little bit more texture and that style, um, kind of the two-door style back then, I guess. So yeah, I'm quite liking it. And the um, little entryway here that I had kind of struggled I ended up having to rip it all down and put it back up because I was off uh, by one block so it just wasn't working out and then I actually decided to put um, not only just this uh, metal block I think it's called weathered uh, what is it here weathered banded weathered wood wall um, I was just going to initially have that down here but then I decided to put it up here above and then just band it not banded but just weathered wood right in the middle and I actually like how it came out so that is cool and then we'll come inside and I have the stone walls going on here and this turned out a lot bigger than what I had thought it was going to be but that's how it usually goes with me I think I've said that before but um, I did decide to I had a uh, I had a little bit of a time of what to put down for flooring because I wanted to match out this wood I really like this dark wood um, it's the closest thing I've got to that style of the medieval kind of thing um, you know that dark wood look but all of the flooring that I had was orange or lighter colored or you know so then it came to me why don't I just use the same wood and just turn it and rotate it and make it look different you know like uh, different designs in the floor with the stone and so that's what I ended up doing and just took some stone block wall and placed those down and with the wood and then in each joint or cross section I guess I, I just flipped the wood and rotated it to see the knot to give it a little bit of a pattern and look and I really am liking it and then continue to do it through all the way down here I obviously I could not it is not an even floor plan. It is um, 
it was off. I had to end up ripping up a lot of the flooring to make it more even. I changed where there was a staircase that was right here that came down from the top floor. I ended up ripping that out, and I will be putting that probably down here somewhere. Um, there will probably be like a staircase here somewhere. Um, I'm not sure. We'll just have to wait and see. Um, but then I add, ended up adding more of this decorative, decorating look or design look to it and continue it through all out. So this is going to be the tavern portion of it and I will have, you know, different things, bars and tables, lots of tables and then I also decided like what to do with the ceiling and I actually like the stone wall and up there, the stone block wall. And then I decided, well, I could do a pattern like uh, inside of it. So I'll, by taking out um, the block wall in different sections like this and then putting the light in the center, I rotated the light. Uh, yeah, and then I'm just going to continue it out, I think. We'll see how it looks. If it doesn't look, then I'll, you know, with the different levels of stone, you know, to give a different look. If it doesn't look right, I will just take it out and do something else or, you know, just leave it plain. I don't know. We'll see um, how it goes. I could also just, you know, le take out the second level of stone and make, you know, some kind of a light fixture with lights hanging down. I don't know. We'll see how I go about that. And then down um, this is <laughs> what I'm calling uh, like the cellar, which is just actually where I go mine all my stuff at, as you can see. Um, so yeah, there's not much anything down here, just caves down below, but it's going to be the cellar, <laughs> right? <laughs> so, and there'll be a door um, in that, and then it might be enclosed even more. I don't know. I'll have to see and play around. So, then we'll go up here to the top floor where the inn actually will be at. They'll be uh, uh, be able to have lots of rooms, I think. Um, in here and maybe some sitting areas and the library a little you know reading areas or something but yeah I really like how this look is coming out um, I did space out the lines before they were closer I think they were every two and now I put them every three blocks wide which I like a lot better it was just too much with the stripe uh, the, you know the lined wood uh, look it was too much so and I'm, I'm still figuring out windows. I, I don't really care for this type of window. It obviously is not period at all. Um, I want something that has more with like bars or I don't know. I don't know what I want. <laughs> I don't know that it's going to be that. And I don't know if I have much choice because the, the windows are lacking or at least I, don't, I haven't found any um, recipes that have different, you know, better windows, I guess. But yeah, that is it. I've had a fun time blowing up trees. I hate it. I hate I hate <laughs> blowing up trees. I hate blowing up trees just about as much as I do messing with water. Um, as you can see, I've still got fl floating chunks of leaf blocks up there that I will have to clear at some point. Um, but let me see if I can come up here. Uh, I think I'm going to have to go below. I think will be the easiest without having to rip out any walls because I have a ladder right here. Let's try this. Ah. And not fall to my death, maybe. Yeah, so this is what it's looking like so far. <laughs> uh, here is the top view of it. which I ended up using the stone stone um, roof, which I like. Um, it was the closest I think I could come to. I guess I could use the wood, but again, it was lighter or orange, more orange wood, you know. Less is Again, I was off on my roof, which is why it's not a true peak. It is flat on top because I could not make it come out. And I know what it is. I just had to start out wider. I'd have to knock down, which I might still. I have to knock this down and start back further um, to make it come out. I think so. And I might do that uh, down. I just I'm gonna get this bigger roof up first. I think, and then 
mess with that little, little one because I do like the sharp point peak better than this flat part. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. So there's that. I'm horrible at getting down. <laughs> Dead. Nope, didn't die. Okay. <laughs> Good. Um, but yeah, I really I really am liking it. I just got to fix those pieces and then that side will be done. And I wonder if I can come up here if we can get an even better look at it. Yeah, minus the blocks there. And I think it for right now it looks all right I think and then putting if I put windows in each like a window in each one of these blocks or at least the ones in the middle the three there and then down here I think it'll look good so I will continue working on this and I will keep you updated as how I am to coming. I was going to do it initially as a speed build, but it, I did start to do it that way. But because this is something I'm very unfamiliar with, um, it just was taking me too long and it was just a lot of editing out and because there's a lot of gaps and thinking and all that kind of thing. So I just decided to keep you guys updated about this one. But I do have my house build that I'm doing in my own world um, that I am continuing continuing to do speed builds on that till that is finished. So stay tuned on that as well. So, uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you can go ahead and do so. I would appreciate it very much. And I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.